Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my another video. On this video, I'm gonna talk about the uh, Redux uh, on the React application. So I'm gonna go from the all the basics uh, of the uh, Redux uh, uh, functionality, which we could use on the Redux uh, React applications. Uh, I, I think if you guys search this video, then you guys already know what the React Redux does. Uh, basically, Redux the main important part of the Redux is to do a state management. Uh, if you create uh, one of the uh, data uh, of a state, uh, such as state uh, on Redux, then you can get that data anywhere, and you can also trigger the couple of the events uh, on on to manipulate that data. And that's the main functionality. That's the well, the state management is does by the Redux. But there are also a couple of the things which is really good. And this is a really React Redux websites where you can uh, find more information about your Redux. Okay. So I also I will also follow this video uh, this uh, the diagram on these tutorials because these diagrams will be uh, very helpful to understand how the Redux work on React applications and at the end we will create something like this okay so here we can add a name and this is going to be a restaurant name so I will add a subway and here we can provide a location so I'll just click on submit and when I click on submit then we can add it on our state and this is not a regular state this is the state for the redux as you guys see on the bottom here i have a extension which i already added here on my chrome and as you guys can see if i click on this add action which i click it here my add action has been triggered and if i click an add action and you can check my state here is a subway and the location is locations right if i add something here called subway so one or something like that or if i added a locations again here right and if i click submit then it will get, add another one and if i click an, another one then it will show me my state here okay so my state is basically an empty array at the time and at the time of adding it uh, then it will trigger an action call add and it's gonna change my uh, the state for the redux and I have also delete button here if I click it here Then it's going to remove that one and it, once it's going to remove it will just leave it only one uh, Of the uh, the record which is one of the object on my array and this will be the state of the redux So which gonna which we're gonna do on this video of course and I'm gonna explain everything how we can uh, uh, use all the uh, functionality of a redux such as like reducer state dispatch store everything on this video so so let's begin so now what i'm going to do the first thing is i'm going to directly go into my another branch which i have already created and my this branch is basically nothing it's just going to be a empty project okay so let me see what i have in this branch On that my index.html, I don't have anything here. This is just a template uh, that is coming with a React CLI. If you guys didn't know how to create React applications, then you can, can search a React CLI here. On React CLI, you guys need to follow the instructions here. Uh, this npx add create React apps, and it will give you a boilerplate exactly like this. Okay, which I have it right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and i'm gonna add a bootstrap css link the first thing because i need to create a couple of the forms which i show in the, in the first uh so i'm gonna instead of typing the all the css you know i'll just use this uh, okay i'll just put it here okay so now i can use this which is good so the next step is to check my package.json and I will check what my dependencies are. Okay, I have Axios installed here already, which I don't need for this demo because I'm not going to call any APIs. I'm going to make a separate video for that one. So I'll just, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install some of the packages, uh, npm install. It's a package called Redux and it's called the React Redux. Okay. So these two packages is to, need to be needed for now. So I'll just use these two packages here uh, just to uh, give you the tutorial uh, for this uh, Redux, okay? So these two packages are installed. So now the first thing is I'm gonna go in my uh, source here and I already have the folder called Redux and the, another folder I will create called component, okay? And inside the component, I will create another file here called restaurant and this is going to be my restaurant component and I will create this component here uh, 
and this is my function this will be a function component i will just save it and i will call this uh, restaurant inside my app.js i have already has couple of the uh, code here as and i will just put my uh, the restaurant uh, here i will save it and i will import it and i don't need this at all and i will just save it here and let's see how it looks like now so it's going to show me a test and this test is coming from my um restaurant component okay here it is so now it looks like i have already installed my packages and if i go in my packages here it's already installed i installed the react and sorry react redux and redux here okay so the let so before i begin let me go in this picture first and i'm going to see how the redux work okay so the first thing we need to create a store and the store once we create a store we need to let the react knows that we have a store uh, from the redux and you need to i uh, just need to let the react know that we have a store okay so let let us do that that i will gradually go in redux here and i will create a store.js file and the store is basically nothing we can give a name called restaurant store uh, because we are creating a restaurant informations uh, and so in the restaurant i'll use something called create store and this create a story I need to import. I need to import from from Redux. Okay, so once I create a store, I need to export this so I could use this on my another file. So I will export default this restaurant store. Okay, so I have created this store, and actually this store. And this is coming from redux okay that's all i did here okay once i create this store now i need to let my react application which is interesting react application know that there is a store so how we can let them know is we'll just go to the app that sorry index.js the top label and we will wrap it using something called provider okay and this provider is also coming from react redux okay this is coming from react redux and inside the provider i will add app okay i don't even need this service worker stuff for now so i'll just remove it so once i added this provider and if i go in here nothing will it will give me some couple of the issue already so and the provider what we need to add we need to add our attribute called store and we need to tell that where is that store is and this is called restaurant store so i'll just save it so once i save it on, on this one so now it's giving me another issue here okay so another issue is uh store js does not match with the correspondent uh like so let me check where i imported from is i imported from store okay looks like i my capital store is my capital letter here just or i imported or i need i need to make it consistent otherwise it doesn't even know what's really going on so i'll just save it i'll reload it still give me an issue okay there might be an issue with the uh, the capital upper cases and lower cases which i did so now this is a good uh, error which i was expecting so now once we imported our store on our provider right so our store is expecting some kind of reducer so reducer is a function that's all when we create our store using a redux so now it will take a couple of the parameter here as you can see so the first thing it will take the couple of the reducer here and action and enhancer stuff like that 
okay so the first thing I need to put it here a reducer okay so we need to create a reducer so if I go in my picture the store has something called reducer and state so we need to create this too and we need to tell the store that okay there is it there is a reducer and state so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna create another uh, reducer called resto restaurant reducer okay not JS and in the restaurant reducer I will come I will create a function as I mentioned that restaurant reducer is basically nothing reducer is a first of function okay on on this one now I will import uh, uh, not the import sorry I will create these functions and here the function will check two parameter the one is called state and another is called action and for now I will just return this state so whatever we created uh, our will provide the state will just return it okay uh, of course we need to do a lot of work inside it but for now I'll just re return the state just to understand okay just to make you guys understand what's really going on here so now I will export this I need to export the restaurant reducer as well so once I export this uh, the first thing is I, I also need to do what is my initial state is going to be and my initial state is a restaurant state for our redux and going to be empty array so I will make it as empty array here okay and I will export this reducer once I export this reducer now I could use it here so once I use it here and then once I save it I think my error will gone okay the my error is disappearing and it shows everything is working fine okay so the next step is to I will teach you guys how we can act add the the extension on Chrome here called Redux okay so you guys can go in Google and search the uh, Chrome extin react extension then it will give you a uh, this dev developer tools and you guys just can add Oh, not this one this is this will is also really helpful this will tell you the what are the components are exist or not but we need something called Redux. that will also helpful but on this redux dev tools you can add this one and it will show you the uh, redux here okay once you add this it will not uh, work it automatically need to do little configurations so if i go instruction here then it's going to teach you how to do a construct uh, sorry configuration so i need to copy this code on on this one and i need to put on create store and here it take a reducer which i created already but here the second parameter it will take this code so i'll just copy this code i will go in my store uh, in the second line i'll just paste it here and i'll just save it once I save it, if I go it here, okay, my Redux store is binding with this Redux here, which is good. So if I go in my state in the raw, as you can see here, my initial state is empty array. And where this is coming from, this is coming from my restaurant, uh, restaurant reducer right here. If I change my state here with the numbers, then as you guys can, can see, when it's reload that first time, it's going to tell me the 1 and 1, 2 has been changed, okay? So I will go in picture again. So I have a created store and I have created a reducer and state already and this already know by the component. And then our next step is to create an action and dispatcher and it will need to be triggering by the our view, which is our React form, right? We need to create a form and we need to dispatch this and we also need to get the uh, the state uh, from the our store which I'm gonna do that in the next video just to do, do a little recap what we did on this video is the first thing is we added the packages called react and so not redux and react redux and the second is we created the store uh, redux store here called restaurant store using the create store from redux once we create this and we will let the our app component know that we have created using something called provider and we put our store here so our app will know already that we have a store okay so once we have a store and we now in next step is to create a reducer and we create a something called restaurant reducer and restaurant is a function that will check two parameter first is state and action in a state uh, rest 
tau right in, in a state i will put uh the initial state here the initial state is just an array uh, it has some numbers but i will put the empty array for now and now it will return the empty array okay that's all it does so the store will uh, know about this reducer here and we also added the extension in the extension we need to put this code here to work on our extension right here so on the next video i'm going to add the action dispatcher so how the action can be triggered from our view and thank you very much for watching guys this video and hopefully you guys like it and learn something new and if you guys like my video please do like and subscribe my channel and thank you very much for watching guys bye for now